And welcome back. John Stigemar might need a new coach at South Dakota State. It sounds like his offensive coordinator and associate head coach, Eric Eisnes, is leaving. The Sioux Falls native and former USF quarterback has had three separate coaching stints in Brookings. He was also head coach over in Marshall at SMSU for six years. Now, the, the Jacks offense has been prolific under Eric's guidance since 2011, and he worked very closely with quarterbacks Austin Sumner and Taryn Christian. Eric uh, will attempt to do the same thing if he goes to Northern Illinois, which is an FBS school that has played in bowl games in 10 of the last 11 years, and that's Kelsey's alma mater. Much of the Huskies coaching staff is moving to Temple. Eisenhuis would be, he would almost double his salary to 175 a year, but this has not yet been confirmed by Northern Illinois, and Eric would likely be a candidate to replace John Sigemeyer when he retires, although that would not happen for at least five more years. The T-Area Titans have had a memorable stretch over the last couple of years, and they were off to a great start again this season. The Titans are ranked number one and play at number two Sioux Falls Christian tonight in a rare matchup of top-ranked teams. They feature a pair of Division I bound players, but also have managed to build plenty of depth in recent weeks. Both are a huge bonus as the Titans prepare for games like tonight, a game that will only make them better come tournament time. Going into this stretch of games now that we have coming up, you know, we, we feel really good with the guys that we've got starting the game, but certainly the guys that are coming off the bench, we feel really good about where our rotations are at right now and, and what we have coming up. You know, while that experience is good, you, you hope in this stretch of games that we have coming up where we're really going to be tested, that that's where that experience level really comes, comes to the top for you. If you haven't seen them play, the duo of Friedel and Hone are really fun to watch. Noah has committed to play at Wright State. That's where Scott Nagy is. And Justin Akel Irvine. And what makes them even better is how involved they get the rest of their teammates. We'll have highlights of that tonight at 10. Now the top-ranked wrestlers in girls basketball of Ethan put their perfect record on the line last night. Tom Young's team was at Canastota trying to improve to 10-0. And, and off the opening tap. It's going to be Carly Gustafson. She's going to pop it for three and nail it. She had a great game last night. James Strang's Hawks got off to a nice start. Noel, Noel Hofer actually scored the first six points for her team, or first eight points for her team, and they led by one. Rustlers get a few threes the old-fashioned way. First, it's Maddie Miller going baseline and throwing that one off the glass, and she gets the two plus the foul. Next time down, it's going to be Miller getting the offensive rebound, dishing to Cameron Logan, who gets the hoop and the harm. Ethan up by four. Dakota Western coach Jason Christensen on hand. Uh, Canastota would answer with an 8-0 run. Jordan Engbrecht with a great save to McKenzie Kirby. The Hawks lead by four. Late in the quarter, though, it's going to be Young's defense that does the work. Uh, Gustafson with the steal. She's going to go all the way for the basket. She ends up with 32 points in the game. As you saw the final score, 63 to 42, and they improved to 10 and 0 on the season. We've got a busy night tonight in girls basketball, O'Gorman's home with Sioux City East. In boys basketball, we already talked about uh, the fact that it's going to be T and Sioux Falls Christian, and the Skyforce are back in action. We'll have highlights of that as well. We'll be right back. <laughs> 